game over. Um, Real Madrid 3, Liverpool 1. Game's finished. Uh, at Anfield. Just making my way home. Uh, what, do, what do you even say? Um, nothing wrong with the way Liverpool played in the end. Um, I thought we were quite good, to be fair. I thought we caused a lot of problems, like we were, we were, like we, we thought we would, um, and they caused us problems too. But um, over the overriding mistakes from Carrius, of course, are, are going to be the thing that lead the uh, the talk of this this final. Two really really bad mistakes by Carrius, really really high profile mistakes, uh, mistakes that he's probably never going to um, come back from, in my opinion. You know, he's a young lad. You just for him you just want to have a good game you want to have a quiet game to be honest you know even if you can see the goal you just don't want it to be your fault any of the goals but unfortunately two of them were the other one to be fair Gareth Bale you know sticks an overhead uh, overhead kick into the top corner similar to Ronaldo against uh, Juventus but this one's in the final um, you know when a team's doing that popping popping overhead kicks in the top corner in a, in a Champions League final and you know you're beaten let's be honest um, but yeah, like I said, Liverpool were, were fantastic, to be fair, in all areas of the pitch. Defensively, I think we were quite solid. Uh, we dealt with the, their threat quite well. Uh, we counter-attacked them very well, the midfield. You know, they ran their ass off like they do every game. <clears throat> and unfortunately, uh, a symptom of that was the fact that Milner was a bit fucked in the end. Had to come off for Emre Can. Um, and Emre Can, you know, he's not really up to speed, is he? But then, <clears throat> as soon as he comes on, that's when Caris makes his second mistake where... Uh, Gareth Bale takes a, a, a really long shot out and Caddish just can't catch the ball and you know that's your, that's your meat and drink as a, as a goalkeeper that's your bread and butter um, you have to be able to do things like that to, to be a goalkeeper and he just didn't um, and you know it's just bitterly disappointing to be honest right now because you know the, the reaction of, the, of the, the crowd when we scored that goal that was that was the best thing I've ever been in um, but unfortunately, it means nothing, and you know we go home, home empty-handed. Um, but there is, you know, of course, the the, the fact of well, before I, I was going to go into the the positives, the uh, the most Salah injury, which is unfortunate for him. Uh, Sergio Ramos is a dickhead, um, an absolute thug, knobhead, whatever you want to call him. He's just a tit, you know, a Champions League final. And I, I, look, I understand doing anything that anything. Uh, by any means necessary trying to win a football match but he's you know initially intended to hurt an opponent you know he's grabbed them like it's fucking WWE and he's wrestled them to the ground and he's possibly dislocated Mo Salah's shoulder and threw him to the floor you know our biggest goal threat you know our biggest threat in our team the one man that you think you know can come up with a goal and you know he gets wrestled to the floor by an absolute cunt called uh, Sergio Ramos Let's be honest, you know, we played well after that, you know, we scored after that, uh, Lallana come on, and we scored, uh, Mane scored the goal um, off a header from Lovren, makes it two, uh, makes it one all, and then, but like I said, look, Real Madrid went on and won the match through a, a mixture of class and a little bit of luck from Cadius as well, um, so what can you say, uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a great atmosphere, it was a great night until, until, the, final, until the actual match, and then, you know, it went to shit. Unlucky for the Reds, um, you know, we will be back here at some point. That's one of the positives that you can take from this. Um, we'll be back here at some point. And when I say here, I mean Champions League finals. Because this team is absolutely fucking crazily good. And, um, you know, let this not be a... Let this be the anomaly. You know, let this be the game that, you know, we turn things around from here. Um, expect a massive, massive title challenge next season, because I do. And expect a, a possible another run in the Champions League, you know, just because we've lost tonight doesn't mean anything um, you know Klopp's here for the long haul you know he's here for about maybe four or five more years let's just get the best we can out of him let's have a big summer let's hopefully replace our goalkeeper and let's go fucking strong next year um, I've been on the fence thank you for watching my matchday vlog uh, if you like the video please click the thumbs up uh, and if you love the video uh, or like the video then please click the subscribe button it's the best way to show me how um, thank you for 100 plus subscribes on this channel already um, in a short space of time you know let's try and aim for whatever uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you later